music seekers. I hope you're all doing well. I thought we would continue and complete our Ghanaian drum routine. But first, oh, here's Lil. I remember <laughs> Lil. <laughs> but first, for some of the classes, I let you watch a Discovering the Music of Africa video and none of the classes, none of you got to finish it. So I am going to put that in the fifth grade and the sixth grade playlist on this YouTube channel so you can watch it in completion on your own. While you were watching that video, you noticed the clothes they were wearing and the very colorful different prints, prints that they would put together that we would never in our right minds put those prints together. Well, I told you they were called kente cloth. And kente cloth has a very special and long tradition in Africa. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about that because I promised you I would. And I'm a, I'm a gal on my word, really, when it comes down to it. So here are a few examples of kente cloth that I have. One of my friends dropped this bag off one time. I was teaching a class. She ran in dropped it on my piano and split. So here is a kente cloth bag. I wish you could see it in real life. Kente is very, very tough, tough material and it's strips of patterns woven together. We're gonna talk about that. I also got a kente shirt from Sowa, the drum master that I did so much work with. And it was kind of a sign that, hey, yeah, you're doing all right. He would never smile or say that you're doing all right, but this was like, yeah, you're one of the, you're one of the people that are doing all right. So I'm very proud of my Kente shirt from Soa. And Lil's gonna show you a picture of a person making Kente cloth in Africa it's in a book I have and this is what it says in the book dazzling colorful kente cloth made by the Ashanti people of the Ghana and the Iwa of Ghana those are tribes and Togo was once known as the cloth for kings 400 years ago at the height of the Ashanti kingdom only royalty wore kente the word kente means that which will not tear away under any conditions. It's really tough cloth. Today, for all people of Ghana, traditional kente cloth is the national costume. It's often worn for ceremonial occasions, for festivals, weddings, and births. And funerals, if you remember, we talked about funerals were also a happy occasion in Africa. They celebrated their life for a few weeks as colorful cloths as they could find. Among the Ashanti and Iwi, the art of weaving kente is passed down from generation to generation. Each pattern is produced by the placement of colors. Each patchwork of colors has a different meaning. Gold dust is mostly yellow and it symbolizes wealth and royalty. Do you want me to take over? I'm, I'm Her arm's fine. getting sore. <laughs> Another pattern called a wise old woman symbolizes old age. They all have a different name and a very different pattern. There is no pattern that is alike. Many of the designs names have historical references and have helped preserve the Ashanti history. Colors are used symbolically. Green is a bountiful harvest. Blue represents love. Ivory represents joy. Ghanaian men drape kente cloths over themselves and women wear them as skirts, blouses, and head wraps. No matter how it's worn, kente cloth is an art form that is beautiful to behold. Thanks, Lil. Her arm is good. I'm gonna read a book to you. I know that you're big kids and some kids are like, I don't want you to read a story to me, but other, other students say yes, so I'm going to. So here is an example of Kente. 
There's a little kid draped in the kente. Kente colors. Kente colors, bright and bold. Red, yellow, blue, black, and gold. Emerald Kente for harvest time. Indigo Blue for African skies. Yellow Kente for pineapple sweet. Sunset Kente Red and Deep. Mud Pie Kente Rich and Brown. Gold Dust in a Kente Crown. Much of the royalty have gold all on them, draped on them, on their drums. Gold is plentiful in Africa. It is still precious. Kente colors, silver, black, swirling around, dancers back. Very similar to the performer shirt that I got from Soa. Ivory Kente for dark young brides. Ivory symbolizes joy, if you recall. Kente for a newborn child. Kente colors and bright silk robes. For generations young and old. And there's the person with the loom making the strips and then they sew the strips together. So colorful and beautiful. I have a few little prints and I like to show them because the names are so interesting. Every single one is different. This one is called God's Eyebrow and uh, the Rainbow. This one is called One Who Climbs a Tree Worth Climbing Gets the Help Deserved. I'm not kidding. <laughs> this one is called Lion Catcher. This one is very, very cool. One ruler, one person does not rule a nation. Amen to that one. Gold dust. And this one, I like the name. It's kind of cool too. It's, it means it has not happened before. It has not happened before. So there are some of my Kente prints and a little bit about Kente cloth. So when you watch that video again, you will see all of the different Kente cloth and realize they all have a long history and they all mean something different. Let's drum. I want you to find some kind of drum if you don't have a drum at home, it's okay. Drummers find different things to drum on. A good drummer can drum on anything. You can find a table with permission so you don't make anybody angry. Um, a table, um, 
a box. A box works very well, a cardboard box. Uh, I have a friend who is a really good drummer and he used a vase one time because he didn't have one of his drums there and it worked so well. So try to find something that you're allowed to table. Try to find something you're allowed to drum on. Don't drive anybody crazy, any more crazy than you already are. <laughs> I know we've been together a long time. <laughs> try to be kind, try to be kind to your parents, kind to one another. We're doing our best. So we'll give you a couple seconds to find something to drum with and you can pause this too, you know. Okay, we're ready. I'm going to review some of the things we learned. We learned about the bass tone, remember? I won't have you have your hands go too close to your face, but the little sips of water right in the middle of the drum head, those are the bass tones. Repeat after me. Let's try it with the other one. try both hands. Try to be my mirror or if you're left-handed you know what to do. We've discussed this. Good job. Now our open tone, if you recall, is flat hands as flat as you can make them and thumbs out of the way, like a goalpost thing. And you play this part right at the ends of your fingers, the, the kind of cushiony part of your hands. <laughs> They're like little cushions. And you play them right on the edge, the rim of the drum. Try it with the hand that you write with. It should pop a little. Now let's try it with the other hand. time holding it like this. Very good. And I hope that you figured out by now you should be playing with Lil. Lil is my echo. Lil is who you should be trying to play along with. Okay. Now we're going to put some of our bass tones and open tones together. Remember some of the classes we showed bass tone, open tone, bass tone, open tone. That's what your hands should be looking like. Me than you. Okay, we're going to start the routine. I'm sorry I cannot keep the drum like this. It is too hard for me to, well, I'll try it a little longer, okay? <laughs> ah! I'm going to make it to be a longer pattern. Try to maintain a steady beat, do not rush. job. Now remember, you don't have to get this all in one video. What we are doing today in this video is probably a month 
or more worth of work where we just do a little at a time. So go back sections if you need to. Redo different sections a few times if you need to. Do not feel like you have to go through this whole video in one sitting. It would be difficult. So do not feel discouraged if you're not able to, okay? tone hand on the side. starting to think the original rhythm what the rhythm really is supposed to be like that can kind of mess with the brain so if you're able if you're still not getting this keep going back in this section otherwise let's go on to what the rhythm really is me then you you want to we are going to go on so whenever you're playing in a drum circle with a drum master an African drum master authentic the drum master always plays the rhythm one time through before you join them so I'm going to play the rhythm one time through and then you join me okay we're going to make this as authentic as possible if I need to switch like this, I hope you're knowing what I'm doing because my legs are starting to not be able to hold. Get my workout. like we practiced and I may stop play along with Lil and there's also a cue to stop as well as a cue to start so how will you know when it's time to stop you will hear and then 
and then there'll be one more pattern after that and I will join you. So when you hear in the middle of the pattern, I'll play one more pattern with you and then we all stop. Subsequently, so I told us this story about how in the tribes a long time ago, if you were playing in a royalty drum ensemble, if you happen to play over when everybody else played, you would either <laughs> lose a limb, like a finger or a toe or a, I'm not sure if this is true, but this is so a story. Or like in newer times, you would be fined. You'd be fined and never invited back again to play for any royalty or if you'd ever be invited, if you ever played over the drum master, the pattern. So I don't want you to lose a finger, Lil. No pressure. Let's see how we do. Listen for the and then it's one more pattern and we end together, okay? Uh-oh. Would you like the right pinky or the left pinky? Um, the left one. Okay, right yeah, that, right, it makes sense. fifth and sixth graders I hope you didn't lose a limb you can do that as many times as you want we're going to go on to the new section okay the new rhythm it's very important that you use correct hands the very first parts are all open tone okay so do after me if you're a right-handed just mirror I'm starting with my left you start with your right okay And your thumbs are out of the way and I'm not talking to you Lil I'm just, just remind like, nope I'm just reminding everybody because it's easy to get into bad habits especially with me not there now the next part of this rhythm you're starting with your left hand what oh together you're going to be playing and then with your left hand twice two times in a row so watch tone at the end with your right if you are a righty okay so me then you And it's basically a warm-up and it's a different tempo warm-up so you don't play this at the same tempo every time you play at different speeds it's more or less like a hey are you ready to jump pay attention and follow me so I'm gonna go different tempos and then I'm gonna teach us how to stop I need to switch to this way so please know that most of this is open and then it's bass at the end Probably know. 
noticed that Lil was not sure. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to join in, but she made sure she waited until a full pattern was played before she joined in. That is traditionally how you should do it. If you don't join in right away, they're okay with that. As long as you don't go in mid pattern, you have to wait until like a jump rope. You don't want to get smacked in the face with the rope. You want to wait until the wow. rope comes all the way around. How profound is that? That's a good analogy, Mom. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna do a few different more tempos and then I'll teach you how to get into it and how to stop. Get some hot toss on there. You want to go fast? Want to put some yes. heat? Okay, I won't go too hot fast because that was like no oh, hot sauce. What are it, you talking about? When it's about? hot, that means when musicians say that was on the hot side, either it was like if it's jazz, it was like really awesome, or it was like fast. It was faster. There, I taught you a little lingo on top of it. to three slaps no not that kind of slap <laughs> I'm gonna play three slaps within the pattern so listen for it it sounds like this <laughs> hurts my hand by the way <laughs> and then by the time the third one happens we'll do the pattern one more time <laughs> and then that's it so let's see how we do I may stop if I stop, continue with Lil, and I like to stop and play another part because it adds interest and complexity, which is the essence of African and Ghanaian music. Are you ready? as much as you want to as your your hands are able to and by the way if you are playing a drum or something else you'll find that as time goes on this is a few week thing that I want you to do it will really help your hands will get built up and it. it'll be all it'll be great it'll, it'll help the more you play the better the better you get okay so the beginning mm. it's not just me playing a pattern one time this is the very first part of the routine. So, what does the drummer do? He gives a, hey, are you ready to play? And what does it sound like? It sounds like this. And then we start the pattern. Now, you may not be able to start the pattern right away with me after hearing all that. Just try to come in when you can, as long as you come in on the beginning part of the pattern. Let's try. Different tempos. No 
keep going until you hear me with the third slap. you but let's pretend we're doing the whole routine I'll do a we'll do a few of these and then the second or third time we stop I'm gonna go into and we'll play that a few times and stop and then I'll just teach you one more part and that's the whole routine wow I know right ready don't stop until after the third slap during that second section that we learned first and it's a, like a counter rhythm it's a counter rhythm a rhythm that is holding its own and it goes along with the other one so I'm gonna start Lil and she's gonna keep going and be strong and I'm gonna play the other rhythm and then when we're done I'll show it to you all by itself if you want to practice it a few times and then we'll put it together. We'll do the whole routine again. Okay, so here we go. counter rhythm for that. Here it is. You can, of course, go back to this section as many times as you'd like. 
here it is. Uh, I always count patterns. I'm not going to count for you. You count for yourself. Here it is. Okay, watch that as many times as you want. We are going to go through the whole routine. Are you ready? Sure. Lil and I have not been practicing this, so I think she's doing really gosh darn well, considering we know. Okay, here <laughs> we go. cheating and when you watching this on your older brothers and sisters and you're supposed to be watching grade two stuff no I hope everybody watches this and learns how to gun and drum it would be awesome good for you take care I want to know what you're doing musically uh, besides this please put it in the comments um, Lil and mr. Rob and I have been playing music every single night Lil is on the ook and she sings. I'm on the bass and I sing. Mr. Rob's on guitar and he sings. We play together and sing together every single night. We have a ball together. It's been great. What kind of musical things have you been doing extra? Have you learned a new instrument? Are you getting better practicing more on another instrument? Have you been listening to different music that you never gave a chance before? Really, I want to hear about it. Put it down in the comments. Lil? Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button in the face and comment down below. <laughs> thank 
comment down below what musical things you've been doing. And be sure to <laughs> subscribe and um, to learn some stuff. Yes, please have your parents or you subscribe to this channel so you know when there's more content uploaded because this is not the end of me. There are going to be more things, although this should, this should take you a while. This should take a while for you to chew on. I hope you practice it again and again and again. Oh, no. However, subscribe so you know when there's new stuff coming. Okay? You are all awesome. Peace out. Bye, have a fun time.